Hello, good afternoon, good day, wherever you are. We're here in beautiful Trinidad and Tobago at the Aruka Green Market. Sunshine and rain falling. But rain is only stop cricket. So welcome everybody to the Black Consciousness Festival where people from all over the world are able to come together in order to celebrate and commemorate the power, pride and practice of African culture. Here, you're able to experience various cultures from different countries that are part of the Pan-African diaspora. We're here with Chef Raven Jack to experience authentic Kenyan cuisine. His passion for, cult for culinary arts stems from his childhood where he was taught a plethora of culinary dishes by his dear grandmother. He later attained a degree in culinary management from our own Trinidad and Tobago Hospitality Institute. He later traveled to Kenya where he fell in love with the culture, cuisine and people. So come along with us as we see what chef is cooking up. What do you have for us here today? Hi, hi. So, I am here with my friend Nazel. Um, okay, let me take down this new norm so that you can hear what I'm saying. So I'm here with my friend Nazali. We are here live at the Milline Home Green Market. Um, Majais, the company that I own and founded. Um, we do lunches every Saturday at the Milline Home. Nazali just decided to join us today because she wanted to get a chance to experience some of the actual creations of some of the meals that I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called sumaki wa kupaka. Okay, it's a whole fish grilled in in a coconut sauce. And the zeli is doing the preparations for the kuchumbari salad, and we have the water and the fire because we're going to do ugali. Now let's talk about the fish fish. Now this is a, a East African or for the um, Kenyan coast kind of dish. Um, it's along the shores. Because in Kenya, a lot of times, it, fish is easily accessible. They do a lot of fish meats, okay? Um, so I'm prepping that right now. Um, Nazeli is doing the, the kachumbari salad. Now that salad is a, is a spring salad, it's a, it's a fresh salad. So it's a tomato salad. She's cutting up the avocado thing now as we speak. In a little bit, she's gonna do the tomato while I prepare the fish and put it on the grill, okay? When, while this is grilling, and she's finished up with the salad, we're going to get to the ugali and then we're going to share the entire meal which when we are finished. That sounds good. That sounds good. May I, may I ask, what kind of fish are you preparing today? Well, this is our local cocoa fish. Cocoa. Right? It's, it's indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago, but it's also found in Kenya. Okay? What would you say is the main difference between Kenya and Trinidad Um, From my experience, the main difference is that the Kenyan cuisine tends to be a little more salty because of, of the, the background and our cuisine tends to be a little more sweet because we have our sugar cane background, okay? Enough for that. Let's put it in the boat. Okay, hold on, hold on. They need to be even. <laughs> yes, I see your obsessive compulsive. <laughs> this is coming out. This needs to be even. All right. <laughs> it don't look right. It don't look right. Okay. It don't look right. Take your time. Take your time. All right. Take your time with the knife. Right. That's I'm it. The best. Yes, a little bit. Watch, I can't explain. Watch food, not drinking. You know? Yes, I know. I know. But mommy and I are good friends. I wanted to remain that way. Okay. Alright, so you can rest this to the side. So let's deal with this. Pick them up. So what you're doing is you're taking off the two heads. Other side. See that fancy flip there? Alright. <laughs> Stand <Yeah>. up. Alright, <laughs> wait. See so you're dropping your, your slits about here. Uh -huh. Both sides. Alright. So, Right. Okay. Yes. Just as you are there. Right. So while you're doing that, I will make the um the piece for the fish. Let's get the borrow some of you to marry. 
Got some ginger here. Mm -hmm. So, no, you know, I made this this morning. Olive oil. Ginger, garlic, and cheese olive oil. Fancy. Yes. Yeah, fancy. Very fancy. That's going to be the base for our paste. Nice. All right. So do, I can, do I continue? You continue, continue yes. Okay. No, I know I didn't give you any measurements because we kind of eyeballing it for the first time. Okay. All right. Um, you want to put a little bit of uh, minced garlic. All right. Okay. I just want to mix this up. So I could have done that like in a bowl. Yes, you could have. You could have done that in a bowl. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to, to overdo it. Now if you notice I slice, made some slight indentations into the fish, I slice it down to the bone. That's so that all of the meat can get some of the seasoning. So you know like how typical Trinidadian parents or people make seasoning and put it away. Can you make this and like leave it in the fridge for some time and then Yes, use yeah. It again? yeah, you can, yes you can. Oh. Yes you can. But I but you know we like it fresh. The fresh season finish. Yeah, so it's so the, so it's best we do it on the spot. I prefer that. Well. Yeah. And One. it's not hard. It's just no. ginger. Ginger. Turmeric. Mm -hmm. Salt. No, no salt. Ginger, turmeric, garlic. Garlic. Yeah. And people make season and put it away. Can you make this and like leave it in the fridge for some time and then? Yes. Use yeah. It again? Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you okay. can. But I but you know we like it fresh. The fresh season finish. Yeah, I so do. it's so the, so it's best we do it on the spot. I prefer that as well. Yeah. And One. it's not hard. It's just no. ginger, ginger, turmeric, mm -hmm. salt. No, no salt. Ginger, turmeric, garlic. Garlic. Yeah, and, and some some oh, oil. Okay. Well, other vegetable oil. I just choose use olive oil. You have fancy olive oil. I have fancy olive oil. Yes. With ginger. Ginger. That's right. Ginger. Right. So you make sure you get the paste all over. All over. So you know we have our big bad boy across there that we built. Right, right. right so right. we're gonna put the fish to the grill inside there. Yeah? It should take us about 10 to 15 minutes. Alright? Because fish typically doesn't take long to see that I know. Yeah. Alright. So oh I should take it off. I don't want to take it off. Okay. Alright. Okay. So you just go to the grill with this. Um, just let me get our Let's go. Right. So you put a little bit of foil just to make sure it doesn't stick to the grill. As we do that, leave it on one side. Um, some people like to make a kind of hybrid out of it, so they would add uh, um, cherry tomatoes, you can add fruit, raisins, you can add diced pineapple. Um, I added avocados um, as we're trying something a little bit different. Okay. And because I like to see, yes that's good, because I like to see the, 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 all the ingredients of it, I don't like it too chopped up and too fine, you know, so we're leaving it as not too too big but not too too small. So we're kind of leaving the onion rings to, to, to add to the, 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 the presentation of the salad. Fantastic. Okay. In Kenyan culture, people eat a lot of food with their hands, not too? Yes, so that's actually we're going to do that in a little bit. Okay. So what we what you're right, they do do, like we're going to do ugali. Ugali is their basic staple. Everybody eats ugali. Okay, and when they do the ugali with the different meats, you actually take your hand, take up the ugali, dip it into the meats and eat it. So yes. Okay is a hand that you're eating it, right? But you know, in our country, if you do that, yes. your mommy would be going all crazy, what's going on with you? You have no brought up say, but you know, that's how it goes. So MJ, what am I doing with this piece of... Um... No, we're leaving out this. Okay. All right, we're resting that to the side. Let me just take off this glove. Right. So we're taking the onions and we're just taking it apart. I want you to go on record that I didn't study at, at hotel school with, um, with, with chef. 
<laughs> I am just here pretending to be the sous chef today. <laughs> so that's why my technique is a bit off. And she's doing a good job so far. She's doing a good job so far. All right. So to bring out the, the freshness of this salad, um, I need you to just cut a lime for me. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll okay. Get it. I'll get it. Alright. So, so do we do we roll the lime like how your mom took it? Yes, you do. Yes, yes, you do. Lime a little bit. So there are so many cooks at home watching this. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you to tell everybody else how do you make this at home? How do you recreate this dish? Um this is it's, it's very, very simple. It's everyday food, everyday vegetables that you use. Tomatoes, um, you get a large onion, okay, depending on how you like your onions. Like some people like it cut up really small, some people like it big, but that, that's your choice, okay? You, can, uh, you take a lime to bring out the freshness. If you like avocados, you dice your avocados and put it in, right? When you squeeze your lime on top of it, you just basically toss it gently, remembering not to mash up the avocado if you use avocado, okay? Yes, my, my little sous chef seems to be having a time. I lost the lime, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already lost one, I got it back. Okay. Alright, you only need to use some half. That's what Just half? Yeah, just okay. take your hands through now and just play with it slightly for one or better way. So seeing that you are seeing that you are chef, I can imagine what Christmas days and these different holidays would look like at your house. The whole family is there, not so? Well, most times yes. Um especially children. Um the children and the family, um the, the black cake, the sorrel. The puncher cream, the ginger beer, and this young lady who can't seem to stay in her home, but that's all right. She's always there to come in belly first. But yes, and as Christmas approaches, quickly approaches, we're planning to have a time, especially in this COVID season where we can't really go anywhere. So the only thing we can do is really interact as family. That's what I'm putting now. Okay, so you're just drizzling some black pepper on top of it. So, Miss Ali, how did you come to be involved in the business? What's your relationship <laughs> you and the chef? That's a good question. I'm actually chef's oldest friend. So I know him before he was a chef. Way before. And I really like Mabel. So <laughs> he chose a really good profession. <laughs> well, to, to maintain our friendship. <laughs> so, so it's good. I cook cheese. <laughs> um, salt? No, no, no. You don't need your good there. So now we just... Do I toss again? No, just throw it into here. Right, and toss it in there now. Ah, nice. Yeah. I think I have a big piece there. Then cut them up. That's that's all right. It, everybody doesn't have to be perfect. Then cut them up. That's that's all right. It, everybody doesn't have to be perfect. Loving the colors. <laughs> yes. I know. It looks it's so a, pretty. That's what brings out the freshness, the and vibrancy of the colors. And you know what's good too? It's healthy. It's not. Yes. It's always great. It's healthy. Okay. okay. All right. So let's just cover that down. Trust the old foil. How long do you think the fish is going to take? So we have about five more minutes. I'm watching the temperature. Yeah. Just check and see if it's risen. But it should take about five more minutes. Kenyans on a whole are very very festive. Um, so we have carnival here and that's once a year. When you visit Kenya, as long as music is playing, they all is festive and lively and it, it's easy for them to, to dance and enjoy themselves. Um, they are very much family oriented. They have a family get together for any reason, for no reason. Let's just get together. And while for us, a family might be 10 people, picture your family being 50 and more oh, wow. so you are 50 and more coming to your house yeah so that that's what I find very interesting I I, I like their their dress um, they they're very 
You like my dress? Yes, I, I love okay, your dress. Okay, yes. <laughs> I love your dress. <laughs> I love your dress. Okay, and you're, 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 you're very friendly people. Very friendly. Quick to, quick to assist. Open to help. That's, that's what they do what they are. Thank you, thank you. So it's always a party. Always, always a party, party, yes. Well, you know, I sent you my dad, we like parties. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we do. Okay, so let's, I'm going to the stove now. We're going to do ugali. Ugali. Right? So. I like ugali. So, let's rest it to the side. Right, so ugali is made with maize flour. Right? Unlike our cuckoo, that is made with corn flour. Alright? So. The sous chef. Hmm. What Nandali is going to do is she's going to pour it, it's boiled into warm water and we're going to load down the stove just now. Yes. Right, let's go. What other types of foods do you like to cook besides Kenyan cooking, of course? I'm a Trinidadian to my heart. So cowheel, oxtail. He makes a mean oxtail. Okay, yeah. mean I do a lot of infusions. So coming out of Kenya, actually, Kenya Starbucks has a Kenyan coffee brewed from Kenya. So we at Majai's, we did something called a barbecue coffee oxtail. It, I just tried it for the first yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yes, yum 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 yum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yum yum. 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 Um, but I basically do all sorts of things. Italian. I do some Chinese, but like I said, I like infusion. I like local. So a lot of times I will do meats with local rums, with, with local spices. Um, Angostura is my friend. So anything Angostura and has. One time you did a sorrel, something. Yes. So for sorrel. Christmas we did a sorrel infused chicken. Chicken. Wow. Yeah. A sorrel That's barbecue sauce. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so actually we'll be doing it again for this Christmas season coming up, we'll be doing it again. And anybody who's interested, we can teach them how to do it. It's not, it's not difficult at all. Okay, so we're gonna try the ugali now. So just pour for me slowly. Pour some more, pour, right. pour, 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 pour. Keep pouring, yeah, keep pouring. Ease up a little bit. What's your personal favorite dish to eat? Yes, anything to do with my hands. <laughs> anything that I don't have to, so doubles is my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Roti is my partner. <laughs> as long as I don't have to use my hands, I am there. Okay, so this, this meal, although it's simple, it builds your biceps. You yes, you have to pull it. And make I like the ugali. That's why they eat this with everything because it's, it's sort of bland. So whatever you're eating, you can use it as the vehicle to get the flavor from whatever else you're having. Oh, is it just the maize flour? Yes, just the oh. maize flour. Okay. Okay. Not a lot of seasoning. So it's like a rice. It's, it's like a sort of rice. Mashed yes, rice. but 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 picture the rice without salt. Yeah, without salt. Yes, without salt. Yes, without salt. Yes. Without salt. Yes. Without salt. Yeah. yes, I have. It's not something you can have by itself. You know, like how we will have cuckoo alone. Yeah, don't yeah. yeah. no have it by itself. The best thing you have it. So Chef, your business, where can we find you? I'm sure people want to know, how can we get this food? Okay, so before COVID, we would be at Queen's Park Savannah. Um, we would also be at Eddie Hart from time to time, and we would be in Arima. Um, because of the COVID restrictions and the fact that I have a full-time job, um, we have cut it down. So you'll find us here at Millenine Home and we're looking at opening, expanding back into the Queen's Park Savannah every so often. Um, we do have a social media page, Facebook and Instagram, or you can call us at 461-CHEF, 461-CHEF. Your business, where can we find you? I'm sure people want to know, <laughs> how can we get this food? Okay, so, before COVID, we would be at Queen's Park Savannah. Um, we would also be at Eddie Hart from time to time, and we would be in Arima. Um, because of the COVID restrictions, and the fact that I have a full-time job, um, we have cut it down, so you'll find us here at Millenine Home, and we're looking at opening, expanding back into the Queen's Park Savannah every so often. Um, we do have a social media page, Facebook and Instagram, or you can call us at 461-CHEF, 461 chef and we just tell you where, you, where we can do it.
we will be we do for any event yeah because clearly the the mode is set up is mobile so wherever yes. you need us we can be here well as you heard make sure to check them out No, we can't give it a good whack. Oh, okay. So far, I haven't seen many. So you're selling? Um. You're selling. Okay. Let me Okay, give us two minutes. Okay. So this is the Ugali. Sweet. I think you have to put the fish on another. On another yeah, we're doing it separate. Yeah, because yeah. we're not gonna fit. We're doing it separate. Do you do desserts as well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. So I I learned that Kenyan is it called mandazi. Yes, mandazi. It's a Kenyan. It's like a uh, like a, a donut dough. Huh? Yeah. It, 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 it's it's out of this world. It's like a picture of fry bake, but a sweet fry bake. Oh. Some sort of like a festival. Like a yes. Donut festival. Let me just bring the fish for you. It's like yeah. What is it? Flour. Right. So now you can try it. Second, I need to wipe. Yeah. It's wet. Yes, the rain is getting me better. Forgive but me, forgive me. So. Huh? But yes, delicious. you can. Hold on, I need to wipe. So, what is this again? It's the Ungali. Ugali. Ugali. Yes. Sorry, I think you should just go ahead and <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> For Quite a friend, anybody asks, Lansley. Right, so it's Ugali, Kachumbari salad, and Sumaki Waku cracker. Let me get you guys. Sumaki waku. Kukaka. Kukaka. Yes. Okay, so you can try. You actually eat it with your hand. Okay. Yeah, good. Huh? <laughs> 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 so no, actually, you're printed, right? And then grab a piece of the fish. Alright. I think I got a bit of bone there. That's alright. Right. I'll try it again. Great. <laughs> Are you shy? Do you want to fall? Um, I don't eat fish. So you, don't you don't eat, eat fish? fish? Half of your life oh, is finished. Yeah. Gonna have okay. the, uh, if you're shy, do you want to fall? Or you want to go in hands, please? Okay, go ahead. You don't eat fish at all? Do you eat meat? No meat. No meat? Oh, wow. Yeah. It's great. You guys should it's definitely really check it out. Mm -hmm. 
So the spices that we use to make the um, the fish, we use turmeric, ginger, garlic. Um, like I said, I use olive oil a lot, but the recipe is really vegetable oil. Um, in this in this scenario, I I will I got up I get up to mischief sometimes for one of a better way. So I made an infused garlic, ginger, olive oil, which is what we use today to make the paste okay. before we put it on the grill. Okay. Okay. Great, great. Well, it tastes delicious. Thank you, you very much. Ten out of ten. Thank you very much. <laughs> So what are some other authentic Kenyan dishes you have available? Oh, can you better have us? Forgive me, forgive me. So. Huh? But it looks yes, delicious. You can. Hold on, I need to bite. So what is this again? It's the ungali. Ugali? Ugali. Yes. Sorry, I think you should just go ahead and do this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For I offend anybody accidentally. Right, so it's ugali, kachumbari salad, and sumaki waku Let me get you guys. Sumaki waku Okay. Okay. okay, so you can try it. You actually eat it with your hand. Yeah, do it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? No, actually, grip and it, right? And then grip a piece of the fish. Alright. I think I got a bit of bone there. That's alright. Try it. Try it again. It's great. <laughs> Are you shy? Do you want to pour? Um, I don't eat fish. So you, don't you don't eat, eat fish? fish? Half of your life oh, is finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna have yeah. okay, if you're shy, do you want to pour? Or you want to pour in hands, okay. please? Okay, go ahead. You don't eat fish at all? Do you eat meat? Or just no meat? No meat. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's great. You guys should it's definitely really check it out. So the spices that we use to make the um, the fish, we use turmeric, ginger, garlic. Um, like I said, I use olive oil a lot, but the recipe is really vegetable oil. Um, in this in this scenario, I I will I got up I get up to mischief sometimes for one of a better way. So I made an infused garlic, ginger, olive oil, which is what we use today to make the paste okay. before we put it on the grill. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, it tastes delicious. Thank Good you job. very much. Ten out of ten. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what are some other authentic Kenyan dishes you have available? Okay. Um. So they make hmm, pork. Yes, pork is a big meat in Kenya. Um, it's readily available. Um, they do a lot of frying. So you'll get fried pork, you will do fried goat, um, fried fish, all right? Um, namachoma, grilled meats as they call it across there. So they have these large grills that they would have made and they just leave meats grilling there for hours and hours and as a customer comes, you take it off and you serve it as it. Um, what we call gravy do, because we do a lot of gravies when we stew, yes. right? They call it soup. Oh. Yeah, they call it soup. So you can, you can also, Two types of frying. There's dry frying, and wet frying. Dry frying is when you get like how we fry fish really dry, and then you have to put a sauce in it. You can also do a, a wet frying, which is a more moist kind of fish. Okay. 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 So thank you so much for sharing your authentic Kenyan cuisine with us. It was really an enjoyable experience. Ten out of ten, definitely, definitely. And we recommend to all our viewers that you check them out. It's really an experience to be had. So thank you very much. It was nice having you. And please come find us as Midrise Culinary Maestros whenever you're in the neighborhood. Definitely will. Okay. Bye. Bye. So, so as you see folks, there's a great experience to be had here. We just experienced authentic Kenyan cuisine from Natcha. And this is just one of the many African ex cultural experiences that can be had. So make sure to check us out at blackconsciousnessfestival.com to see all of our other cultural activities. Cultural activities. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us today. Enjoy the rest of your day.